The Kogi state government staff verification exercise was intended to flush out those workers and reposition the civil service. Now it has yielded results with the discovery of over 5,000 ghost workers and several illegalities uncovered. This has raised a lot of dust, especially among the civil servants. That is why a delegation from the Nigerian Labour Congress is meeting with Governor Yahaya Bello, appealing to him to temper justice with mercy. Guide our leaders' rights. The union chairman is also appealing to the state government to pay those who have been screened, insisting that they are not against government move to sanitize the system. These people of yours in service who are on ground and up to this moment are still meant to go to the office to, to sign register, attendance register. They come to this office and still sign attendance register without salaries being paid to them. His Excellency, the heart for which God has given you, it is our belief that it is so large and big. And the position that has brought you today it is such that you have come to put support in the march of the people. Governor Bello laments the rot that has bedeviled the system right from the creation of the state, insisting that the right thing must be done. The exercise have time limit. I'll explain to you certain reasons why we got to the point we are in today. But that surely is coming to an end. Nothing in the surface, on the surface of this earth that has beginning that has no end except God Almighty. Surely, this screening exercise of civil servants in Kogi states has a beginning and it will surely have an end. And that end time is much ending by the grace of God. While the state government continues on its sanitization exercise, the workers are hopeful that at the end of the screening, the state will pay their salary arrears.